Polish peeps. I'm so glad that you're here today because we are going to be looking at the L'Oreal Color Riche Collection Exclusive Pure Reds, a rouge for every woman. And I think this is being advertised like for Mother's Day, which unfortunately I'm filming this before Mother's Day, but I don't think I'm going to have it up till after Mother's Day because I just have a lineup of stuff that I need to get uploaded. But um, I think that's cool that they're advertising this for Mother's Day. Um, but even if you're not a mother, obviously, you can um, find a red nail polish that is the perfect shade for you, is I think that how they're advertising this. Um, at the store, I had been seeing the perfect lips um, in displays, but I had not seen the nail polishes just till the other day. And I don't know why I get such a kick out of it. Because whenever I get to a store and I see that every single polish is there, and in this case they only had one of each of them, so I felt kind of bad in this case when I just like basically wiped out the whole shelf. I don't know why they would only put one polish of every single color, that's just silly. But I don't know why, but it gives me such a rush whenever I feel like I got there right when they put the display out because all the other times I'm so frustrated when there's just one missing and I have to like go to all the other stores and try to find just that one. But there are nine polishes in this um, True or Pure Reds I Rouge for Every Woman nail polish collection um, that goes along with the lipsticks and they are each um, like not backed by, but they each have like an, a famous actress or model that goes along with each polish. So hopefully if you're interested in these, you will be able to find them. Like I said, I found mine at Walgreens. Um, I've seen the displays that just have the lippies, but the one that I found it on had like the lipsticks in front and the nail polishes right behind. So anyway, I wish you luck if you're trying to find these. Hopefully they're going to be at the store for a little while so that you don't have any trouble finding them if you are looking for your perfect red. So um, yeah, I do feel like with probably with these nail polishes more than with the lipsticks, you could pull off every single one of these colors. I mean with nail polish we wear probably all the time lots of colors that aren't necessarily very flattering on us but just because we really like it. With the lipsticks too, I bet you could probably wear a lot of them too. Maybe some of them will look more flattering on you. Um, but with these nail polishes, I definitely don't think there are any rules to follow. Just find one that you really like, or two, or three, or nine, and um, <laughs> yeah, you can have some fun with them. There are some shades in here that are actually quite similar, but when you look at the bottles, you can definitely see that they're all different. Some of them, like I said, are very close, and they really only differ in like a tiny bit darker, or they have added shimmer. So yes, yeah, some of these do have shimmer, and some are just straight creams, and there's one Crelly in here. So I've probably talked enough about them. Um, I think that this collection is really fun, even though red is not my favorite polish color to wear. I do feel like a really great classic red, just like a lipstick, really does something for a woman with a classic red nail. So I'm gonna start out with the lowest number, number 718. I like that L'Oreal numbers their nail polishes. I don't know why, it just helps me keep track. Especially with a collection like this, like I get really lost if there weren't numbers. So the um, 718 is Julianne's Red. That's Julianne Moore. And it looks like this. It is actually the color I'm wearing on my nails. Interestingly enough, even though um, I mentioned Jane Fonda before, she's not in the lineup of ladies here represented in the nail polish, but um, Julianne's Red I think is the most youthful red and I think um, she's probably the oldest woman actually in the lineup of women that are in this campaign. Like, besides Jane Fonda, like I said, because she's not, she's not represented here. So, um, I just thought that was interesting because I feel like this is very youthful compared to the others because this is the only one that I feel like they put a little bit of white into it. Like, I feel like they took a red pigment and they just added a drop of white. It made it a little bit pinky of a red. Even though when you're looking at it right here, you're probably thinking, oh, this looks pretty red to me. In comparison with the other, the others, this is um, the most pink, not the most berry, but the most pink, um, I think because it has a drop of white in it. So it's very youthful, like I said, it's very fun. I got away with just one coat here. This is one of the better formulas in my opinion. It also happens to be the color I'm wearing on my lips because um, at Walgreens L'Oreal products were all buy one get one half off and there were nine polishes in this collection. You know me, I couldn't 
help myself, so I went ahead and picked up one lip product. So I did also pick up Julianne's Red in the lip, and that's what that is there. I don't really feel like they look exactly the same to me, like the lip and the nail, but I mean, they're pretty similar. I did really like this lip product. I mean, L'Oreal has some great lipsticks. It does, it is fragranted, like pretty, pretty fragranted. So if you don't like that, I mean, maybe you wouldn't like this lipstick, but I think it's nice. And so I picked up Julianne because I thought she might have the most similar coloring to me just because I'm like as pale as the palest Smeagol in the cave of the wonders. I know that that's not right, but anyway, <laughs> um, so yes. Um, that's the one I picked up. I really liked it. It's smooth and easy and enough talking about Julianne's Red. Let's show ya. Okay, so the next one I want to show you is number 719, and this is Doutzen's Red, or Doutzen, I'm sorry. Um, it's Dutch, and I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but this one is, I think, the most orangey red. Um, it's also the one that is a curly formula. So this one you probably need three coats on. This is like a super, um, it's just gorgeous. As an orange red, it's not so orange, um that I don't think you're really gonna enjoy it still as a red. Also as a lip color, I bet this is just amazing. Um, anyway, if you don't know who um, Dotson is, she's um, a Victoria's Secret angel. I didn't know who she was before I looked it up. So I did wanna make sure I knew who all these women were. Um, and they've all autographed the bottle sticker, by the way, in case you were wondering. Um, so anyway, I would probably do three coats on this, otherwise it's really pretty. I have mentioned before, I think that a Crelly formula is really nice for a classic red. There's something about it that's just like when it's a little bit more squishy, it feels very classy and chic. So anyway, while this is sheer, I think this is really nice. So let me show you. The next one, number 720, this is Frida's Red, and they're to, um, the specific Frida that they're speaking of, that's Frida Pinto, and she is an actress, um, I think pretty well known for Slumdog Millionaire. I've not seen that movie, but she is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness, this woman. Um, I think, I remember in my People's Magazine, she was featured in the section where all these women weren't wearing any makeup at all, and she looks so amazing. So anyway. Enough of my fangirling about Frida Pinto. Um, this nail polish, um, it's it's again, it's a little bit of a sheerer one. Um, it surprised me with that, but this is where they started going a little bit berry. This isn't as berry as the next one, um, but yes, it's definitely a little bit more berry than just straight up red. As you can see, it's getting darker here. I'm trying to remember if this one had any shimmer. Yes, this one has shimmer. It's, it's nearly the same color as the next one I'm gonna show you, but it has shimmer. Um, and I'm trying to see here. Yeah, I thought the formula was okay on this one. It wasn't my favorite, but anyway, um, if you were looking for a nice, like, deep, deep kind of, it's not, I wouldn't call this a berry shade, because obviously, look, it's a red, but it's like a deeper red, moving a little bit towards berry with some shimmer. That's what this one is, so let me show you.
right, the next red in the collection is 721, and that's Blake's Red, um, which is after Blake Lively, and you probably all know who that is, but anyway, she's married to Ryan Reynolds, and she's from Gossip Girl, and she was just in that one called Adeline's Age of Adeline. Um, anyway, I didn't see it, but if any of you have seen it, tell me, because I was thinking about seeing it and hadn't made up my mind yet. Anyway, this one is very similar to Frida's Red, except it's a little bit creamier of a formula, and it also doesn't have any shimmer, and as you can see there, it is like a, basically it's a deep red with a little bit of berry in it. So, um, pretty standard. You probably have a red like this in your collection. You probably have a red like most of these in your collection. I probably should have said before, but if you were looking to participate in, you know, getting something out of this collection, um, that would be the reason to purchase any of these, not because any of them are something you've never seen before. So anyway, I will go ahead and show you which polish Blake duked it out to get. So the next one is number 722 and this is Zoe's Red and they're talking about Zoe Saldana here from Avatar fame and if you're real old school like me from Center Stage, she's also from what, um, Star Trek and oh, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Anyway, Zoe Saldana rocks. I was thinking, well I wasn't thinking that this was Zoe Deschanel because I assumed from the color because Zoe Deschanel wears more like um, this kind of red or even brighter, but wouldn't she have been fantastic in this collaboration because she's always wearing red lipstick. But anyway, side note, um, we're talking about Zoe Saldana and this is the most, I would say this is most like plum red. It's definitely, I mean, I think it's definitely bordering on plum. I think you could classify this as a plum rather than a red. This also has one of the best formulas out of the whole bunch. So if you were looking for something in this shade, it has a really great formula. I didn't mention before. I found these for like $6.50 at Walgreens and then they were buy one get one half off. So I mean that's not so bad. L'Oreal is actually I think in my opinion one of the better um, drugstore brands for just like range and fun collections and things like that and formula usually. So anyway this is Zoe Saldana's red and I'm going to show you what it looks like. The next one, number 723, this is Leah's Red, and this is another um, woman that I wasn't super familiar with, so I looked her up, Leah Kebede, I'm not sure if that's how you're saying it right. Leah Kebede, um, she's an Ethiopian-born model, but she's also a clothing designer and an actress, and a little tidbit of interesting information, <laughs> according to Google, um, she was the 11th highest paid top model in the world in 2007. So yeah, speaking of gorgeous women, this woman is so gorgeous, and the color that she shows is this very deep again like a kind of plummy color unfortunately leah's red um was one of my least favorites in formula um it was just kind of it wasn't patchy it just i don't know like it was maybe a little bit streaky i couldn't get it to level itself super well i think you're gonna see in the video i'm not really sure why it was that way but basically it's it's pretty much the same color as um Zoe's red where it's like this deep very deep berry red but it has shimmer in it so this is another one with shimmer um so yeah really really deep red here 
deep berry red with some shimmer if that's what you are looking for. The next one is Eva's Red, and they're talking about Eva Longoria here, and this is number 724, and a little information that I just learned. Eva Longoria is, of course, from the show Desperate Housewives that is no longer airing, but that's where I think she's most familiarly known. But she was also named Miss Corpus Christi, so hey, what up, Eva? Um, anyway, this is, I would say, the closest this collection got to like an oxblood red, and even, it's not, it's still not quite there. But this is the closest thing if you're looking something for that. And by oxblood red, I mean like deep with like more brownie orange in it. This is the closest one to that. So this again had a really, I liked the formula on this one. It does have some subtle shimmer in there. So if you weren't looking for a shimmer, I'm sorry, but it is subtle. So anyway, let's take a look at how Eva's red looks in two coats. Alright, the next one up here is 725 and this is Jennifer's Red, um, but they might as well have just put JLo's Red on the top there. Yes, we are talking about the gorgeous Miss JLo and she has another one that's kind of like a brownie red too, except um, like when you look at them on the bottle, here I'll show you. So this one is Eva's Red and here's JLo's Red, sorry I'm trying not to get too much glare. So they do look very similar. They do both have shimmer. But Eva's red is much more creamy, and JLo's red is like a like a little bit thinner of a formula, moving to more towards curly. It's not so much of a curly, like um like this real orange, uh, Dotson's red is. But um, in any case, I did want to make that note about formula. I thought formula was just okay. This is a really pretty red, but it does like have a little bit more brown in it. So anyway, let's take a look and see how it swatches. Okay, and last up, number 726 is called Because You're Worth It Red, which is cute because, of course, that is the brand's, um, you know, their tagline or the, kind of their theme that they want you to know. You're worth it, so you deserve our beauty product. I think that they kind of um, reserved like a classic true, true red for the Because You're Worth It color. If you're looking, if you were looking through all these colors and thinking, well, where's just like the basic red? That's what this one is. It's not, um, as creamy as like this red I have on here or the other ones that I've mentioned too were creamy. This is a little bit more like the JLo red that I just showed you, um, where it is a little bit on the thinner side. It's not so thin that I'd call it a crelly, but it is a little bit on the thinner side. It's a really pretty color. 
Like I said, very basic classic red if you were looking for that, if for some reason you still don't have, you know, a super classic basic pull a, you know, Crayola marker out of the Crayola box red. <laughs> That's what this one is. It's really pretty, so let me go ahead and show you how it swatches. guys so that was the whole thing I probably should have mentioned at the beginning I did actually find with all of these that they were a little bit staining I don't know if that's just how it goes with reds when red stain my nails it doesn't make me as frustrated as when like a blue or a green stains my nails because when a red stains my nails it kind of can blend in with my skin tone a little bit more or something I don't know it just doesn't make me as mad for some reason because with the blues and green that makes it like turn instantly yellow um, not that my nails need any more yellow, but um, I did want to mention that. So just make sure you get some good base coat on there. But base coat is always something that I recommend no matter what. Anyway, so um, I did want to mention that it's not. None of these are so staining that I was like, okay, yeah, don't buy that polish. Like that's gonna be horrible. No, but I did just at least want to mention it to you. So I don't think I can definitely pick like a favorite for you with this kind of collection. It's more just like a whatever your preference is, whichever one looked the coolest or the most interesting or it touched you deeply to your soul, um, that's the one you're going to pick. But anyway, I hope this helped. I hope it helped you decide if you needed any of these and I hope you found the live application helpful as well. And yeah, I just hope you're having a really great day and you are worth it and um, I really enjoy you guys and I love having this community that we have. Thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me and I will see you back in my next video. Bye.